Hey, what's up guys? This is Tariq here from smartbytrainers.com. The Dorito X and Kicker Core and Flux 2 are very similar in many ways and different in other ways. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the differences between these three trainers and we'll go through the specs, the accuracy of all three, and if you are interested in seeing or hearing how loud each one is, then stick around. And if you find this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button. And if you want to learn more about smart trainers and indoor training, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. All three trainers retails for 899 US dollars. The Flux and the Ritu are housed inside a plastic frame where the core is in a solid steel frame. The Flux legs are not foldable where the Kicker core and the Ritu X are foldable. All three trainers communicate in ANT plus FEC and smart Bluetooth. However, the Wahoo Kicker core has a multi Bluetooth which basically eliminates most of the connection issues that you might encounter using Bluetooth. This allows the Kicker or Kicker core to communicate with more than one app using Bluetooth where other trainers uh, can only communicate with one app using Bluetooth. So if you connect the Dorito or the Tag Flux to one app, it will not be available to connect to a different app. So for example, if you connect the Tags to the Tax Utility app to update the firmware or calibrate it and forget to disconnect the connection, then you won't be able to pair it to Zwift, for example. So that's a one big advantage to the core. All of them measure power, speed, and cadence and broadcast that through ANT plus FEC or Bluetooth FTMS. This makes it easy to pair to devices, especially ones with limited number of connections like the Apple TV, for example. None of these trainers measure cadence directly. Instead, they calculate it and that calculation can be off sometimes, especially when that resistance is very low. Usually in ERG mode and in a steady state effort, they are pretty good. However, if having very accurate cadence measurement is something that you care about, then getting a separate cadence sensor might solve this issue for you. The Dorito supports up to 2100 watts, while the Flux supports up to 2000 watts, and the Core supports 1800 watts. Now, this is not that big of a deal. Most of you won't be able to hit these numbers anyway, and if you can do more than 1500 watts, then probably looking at a Tax Neo or a Wahoo Kicker is a better option for you. The Flux and Core both supports up to 16% gradient. The Dorito supports up to 18%, so 2% more. So that is an advantage to the Dorito X, but it's very minimal and most of you won't notice it. But the Dorito win this category. The steepest incline or the steepest climb in Zwift is 17% and it's a very small section. The flywheel is what sets these trainers apart. On paper, the Flux win this category by a big margin with a heavy 16.8 pounds flywheel. But it's a simulated flywheel and does not really feel like a 16.8 pounds flywheel. It actually feels like a smaller flywheel, like an actually like the Dorito X9 pounds flywheel. The flywheel is good for two things, road feel and in workout mode. The heavier, the better, you get more inertia and just an overall better feel. In workout mode, whether it's in erg mode or slope mode, a good and a heavy flywheel gives you a much bigger range of power regardless of gear selection. So for example, the Flux and Dorito have a hard time getting you to a very low watts that you might need during recovery sets between harder intervals. Let's say your recovery is set at 100 watts, the Flux and Dorito might have a hard time getting you there without going to an easier gear. You'll also find this limitation when using a bigger gear. For example, here's a workout in trainer road, ignore the blue line and pay attention to that thin green line. I was not feeling that good that day and I had to lower the intensity, so that's why uh, just pay attention to that green line. So my target watts here was 224 watts and I was using a 5312 gearing, so that is a big gear. Uh, as you see here, this is an erg mode. I was pushing close to 260, 280 watts. The flywheel just did not have enough momentum or speed to bring down my watts to my target around 224 watts. The kicker core, however, was best at this. I did not experience these limitations with the kicker core. Also, keep in mind that this 12 pound flywheel you see on the kicker core is the same flywheel Wahoo used on the kicker 2017 and earlier models. This was a high end flywheel and one of the best in the market. So even though on the spec sheet, the Flux has the heaviest flywheel, but the Kicker Core wins this category hands down. As for accuracy, the Dorito is by far the best with its built-in OTS power meter and accurate within one and a half percent. 
The core comes in next at 2% and the flux at 2.5%. The Dorito and core are just so good in measuring power. All three trainers require calibration the first time you use them and then uh, just calibrate it once every couple of weeks or so. The flux just did not do well in Eric mode and I talked about that in details in my review which you can watch up here. It was under reporting but the Dorito and Kicker core are just so good. Both did very well in erg mode and responded very well. As for the noise, here is how all three trainers sounds and uh, you will see me demoing the kicker instead of the kicker core just because I did not have, I don't have the kicker core right now uh, to measure the decibels and uh, when I made this video. So, but both sounds very similar and if you don't believe me, you can go and watch this video up here and uh, you will see that they both sound very similar. If anything, the kicker has the bigger flywheel, so if anything, it will be the louder trainer. All three were very good. The kicker or kicker core wins this from a measurement standpoint using my ears and the decibel measurement. I think this covers it all. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments section and if you want to buy any of these trainers. Uh, make sure to check out the price tracker on smartbuytrainers.com before purchasing any trainer. I uh, look for the best prices and deals every day on all these major brands. And that's all I have. Uh, if you find this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe and see you in the next one.